Ang kwetso. Please be seated. Ang yung reh pagka mento kajimakan ng detalye. I hand over the floor to the defense team uh, for Mr. Nunchir to resume his uh, examination on the witness in question. You may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, before the break, we were speaking about um, Sao Pim. You said that you never uh, mentioned that name uh, to the investigator of the DC CAM. Um, Mr. President, with your leave, I would like to show um, to the witness uh, two uh, Khmer pages of his DC Camp statement uh, and ask him whether he um, sees the name Selpim there and whether he, in fact, did use the name Selpim in his statement. The president, leave uh, granted. President, Mr. Witness, did you talk to the investigator about um, Sao Pim? Avez-vous parlé aux enquêteurs de Sao Pim? Bad. Pion bad ban ye tem. Yes, I uh, uh, talk about uh, Ruth Nim, but uh, in this uh, uh, typing, uh, it was uh, so Nim or so Pum. So it was not uh, correct in, in that uh, point. Uh, his name was not uh, So Nim, uh, it was uh, Ruth Nim. I think there was a typo uh, in, in this document. Um, however, a little further down in the other document, it says, um, because of the unstable situation, later I heard that Tanim and Tapim arrested Tachil and a few others. So there you say Tanim and Tapim again. But I uh, did uh, talk about uh, Tanyam and his uh, disappearance. As for Tapim, I never made mention of uh, Tapim. Uh, very well, Mr. Witness. Um, um, so let's. I will limit my questions to uh, Runim, Rosnim. Um, but you did say in that statement when Sopim uh, was hunted, about 200 to 300 people were sent to Kongkleng, but later were called back to Taping Tamar. What exactly happened uh, with these people that were sent to Kongkleng? But at the time I heard uh, from Taval directly that Tanyim uh, sent a reinforcing uh, force of around 200 or 300 uh, people and then he uh, withdrew uh, them uh, back. Uh, that is what I heard uh, directly from Taval. And did Taval say why Tanyim sent? Um, 200 to 300 
บาทเรื่องต่างอ่อนนี้ขยมดังอัดดอลเต้ก็เป็น I uh, did not know I only heard that uh, around three two to three hundred uh, uh, forces uh, whom we uh, send Uh, almost to the uh, destination already, but I did not know uh, where the destination was. Uh, but then uh, the uh, forces uh, had to be uh, withdrawn uh, back. Uh, that's what I heard uh, from him at the time. Let's first talk about uh, Conkling. How far is Conkling from the Trapping to Madame? I never measure the distance, but if we went straight, uh, it uh, could have been around 20, more than 20 kilometers. But if we have to go through the detour, then uh, it may be longer than 30 kilometers. And were these forces armed when they went to Conkling? I did not know about that, but when uh, I was sent uh, to uh, withdraw the troop uh, back, I only saw them carrying holes. Uh, they uh, had uh, a hole each, uh, but as for arms, I did not see any rifles uh, with them. And did these forces have anything to do with um, David and Tasrei? But. I knew Tavit, but I did not know Tasrei. Was Vit Tasrei's older brother? Question: Is that Vit was the brother of Tasrei? Man, men men Tasrei take his Tasrei. Not strain, but sre. Sre. So I apologize for my pronunciation, but sre and vit were two brothers. Is that correct? Sre and vit were two brothers. Is that exact? But put your term trout. Yes, that is correct. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Vit is the elder brother of uh, Sre. Um, now, did these forces, and if you don't know, then please say so, but did these forces that went to Conkling have anything to do with the secret plan? Um, Secret plan to arm the mobile unit that the other witness spoke about. Were these two connected? As for the communications among them, I did not know, but uh, for the sending of forces, I did not know for sure. Uh, at this point, but what I was so certain uh, of was that uh, Taval sent me to withdraw the uh, force uh, back, but as for other things, I uh, was not aware of. Um, Mr. Witness, I would like to um, confront you with an, an excerpt of a statement of another witness. Um, and I would like to do the same. Um, as with the other witness, I would like to um, give a piece of paper on which his name is uh, mentioned, and then I would like to ask you if you know this person um, without saying the name out loud. 
que son nom ne um, soit prononcé. Monsieur le Président, je parle ici du document E3-7 de 7805. Uh, more particularly, I will be um, talking about an excerpt at English page 00277817 and uh, 18, uh, Khmer 00267746, um, and French uh, 00315176 and 77. Uh, and here I have um, the first page in Khmer, and I would like to show the witness uh, the name and ask him whether he knows the name, whether he knows this person. Leave granted. President, allez-y. Do you know him, Mr. Witness? Monsieur le témoin, connaissez-vous cette personne? But from that picture, girl. Yes, I do know Réponse. the person. Oui, je connais cette personne. Do you know him well? Question. But girl, chiba. Yes, very well. Uh, did he have the same function as you at the time? Did he also, was he also a unit leader who supervised 100 persons or a company at the Tramietma dam work site? Know réponse. him uh, very well, but as for his uh, duties and responsibility, I did not know very well. But it was my understanding that he was also in the leadership of the mobile brigade, but I did not know whether or not he was in charge of the uh, company or platoon. That I did not know. Um, let me read to you uh, an excerpt from his uh, statement, Mr. Witness, and then I will ask you your reaction. Um, question. Did you see upper level come down to inspect the Trapping Tama Dam? Upper level did come down to inspect, for instance, Tachil, who was in charge of Sector 5. I have heard that he is dead. And Tanim. Alias Moul Sambat, the father of Tachil. I've heard he is dead. From what I know, Tanim was an in-law of the leader of the East Zone at the time and wanted to steer up half uh, the Northwest Zone. He sent a message to his in-law in the East Zone. Then they arrested the Northwest Zone cadres, and the group from the Southwest came to take control over of the Northwest Zone, and they arrested uh, uh, and killed them all. They called me to meetings at Swai two or three times. Tanim sent the messages to go to the meetings. Tanim personally led the meetings. A little further down, uh, he talks about Srey, the same person that we just spoke about. They arrested him, threw him in a truck, and took him away. Vit, Srey's older brother, led his mobile unit to flee to Thailand. I've heard they all died. Um, can you give a reaction to uh, this statement of your former colleague, company leader. Face à ce que dit votre ancien collègue, chef de compagnie. Champo, chmo, vat, pe, nixai, chabon, pon, kamen. 
both uh, wit and uh, stress uh, were uh, biological uh, sibling. When uh, stress was arrested, uh, it was done uh, in front of me. Uh, Nya was uh, there, and at that time the uh, army uh, arrived, and then he was arrested and he was put on the truck. And then Tuan and others uh, uh, fled uh, the military unit and I did not know where uh, they uh, had uh, gone and at that time I did not know what was going on at that time and I uh, was uh, worried uh, myself I did not know who uh, were the targets uh, for further arrest at the time it seems mr. witness that both um, persons of whose uh, statements I read excerpts um, seem to know the uh, situation well, but the trapping to mark them, and they both seem to speak about uh, Tanim. Um, steering up half the northwest zone, or alternatively, um, collaborate in a secret plan. Uh, probably for an armed rebellion. Does that... When I read that to you, does that sound familiar or not at all? Is there any issue? Uh, please uh, maintain order in uh, the courtroom. And if you uh, need to talk uh, on your personal matter, you have to leave the courtroom. Uh, avoid disrupting uh, the ongoing proceedings. Counsel, you may continue your examination. I will reformulate my question, Mr. Witness. I read to you excerpts of statements of two people that you know very well and who were well, quite well acquainted with the trapping Tma Dam. Both talk about um, uh, Nim, the leader of the Northwest Zone, being involved in steering up half the Northwest Zone, starting an armed rebellion. Uh, together with Val and Hun. Is it correct what these um, two persons are saying, or is it something that you don't know anything about? That I did not know. I uh, would like to tell you that I did not know about that. I understand, but I uh, a last question and then I will move on. Um, do you have an explanation uh, for why you don't know anything about this? Um, having testified earlier that you were close uh, to Taval and that you do him very well. Uh, can you give me an explanation? The President, uh, witness, please uh, hold on. And Judge uh, Claude Defense, you may proceed. Counsel, it's the second time, I think, in three days that you have asked a witness to give an explanation to explain why he does not know something. Uh, I don't think that works. Perhaps you could achieve your purpose by rephrasing the question. Well, I can explain why I don't speak Khmer, for instance, because I never learn it. So I, I have a reason for it. Uh, so you, there's a possibility for having a reason for, for not knowing something. But I will move on. Um, Mr. Witness, um, let me now speak to you, or let me ask you questions about um, the military structure of 
the work at the dam site. Um, in your DC camp statement, you spoke about um, an organization in terms of uh, a military hierarchy. Uh, you refer to uh, the work being organized in a military structure. Um, you also spoke about respect uh, for the chain of command. Um, do you know the reason as to why the work at the dam was organi organized in a military way? It was organized in a military um, way was uh, actually the initiative by Anka, and Anka actually gave the name uh, to the unit. So the mobile uh, brigades uh, were tasked uh, to uh, carry uh, d dirt and uh, build dike in them. And as for um, the organizations uh, of the mobile brigades uh, to be the uh, Army or so, I did not know. As for the two uh, person I knew, I I cannot actually tell with um, certainty uh, about how they uh, communicated or uh, had any plan. I I did not know. How do I have to understand? Uh, your testimony when you said uh, that the chain of command should be respected. Does that mean that when you give an order to your subordinate, this subordinate has to follow the order? And at the same time, when you receive an order from your superior, that you have to follow this order? Is that what you meant? But Yes, that is correct. For instance, uh, Tawal order Tako, and Tako further ordered to me, and then I had to uh, hand it down. The, I had to hand down the order to my uh, subordinate uh, down below uh, the line. Uh, that was the chain of commands we had to um, respect. Uh, now I understand that you have been in the uh, Lonol Army. Um, there was, I suppose, in the Lonol Army a chain of command as well. Was the chain of command in the military structure at the Trappian Command Dam similar to what you were used to well, when you were a soldier in the Lonol Army? Is that the same kind of chain of command? For the army, of course, there was a uh, instruction. Uh, they said uh, a pistol that we had. Uh, we uh, did not simply carry it for. Uh, you know, a good look of it, example, but uh, we had to use it to uh, actually uh, shoot anybody who did not follow the instruction uh, or did not listen to the command. Uh, and the same uh, actually applied to the situation when we work with uh, Taval. Uh, anybody who did not follow the instruction or direction, uh, that person was uh, to be taken for execution. Uh, that was the uh, absolute command uh, of Taval. I understand very clearly what you're saying. Um, but at, uh, in your DC camp statement, um, um, you testified, and I believe you confirmed this uh, uh, at the hearing that um, chiefs such as yourself uh, had a right to kill. Um, can you explain how that fits into a rigid 
um, chain of command structure. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer comment cela fonctionnait au sein d'une structure de commandement Is it possible rigide? to decide on your own as a chief to kill? Pouvez-vous, en tant que chef, décider um, par vous-même? while at the same time not following orders from above. Tout en désobéissant à un ordre qui venait de votre supérieur. Bah. Answer. Réponse. On this matter, Rai was bestowed to us by Taval. Taval nous avait donné le droit. For chief of units who had uh, known well the background of uh, their members, those chiefs uh, had the rights to kill their own subordinates. For me, for my case, I have never killed Mesdames, anyone in my unit. So am I to understand that there was a sort of a standing order situation um, from Taval to um, Donné par Taval, the unit chiefs, ou chef that, they, that he voulant. more or less gave a carte blanche to the chiefs. Is, is that what you're saying? Qui le, qui leur donnait carte blanche, qui laissait libre cours à la décision des chefs d'unité. Man, peinun que Taval peut tuer mais quand mais vrai qu'on a. Taval convene meetings among chief of. Taval a convoqué and réunion des chefs de compagnie For me, de I was a chief of a company. I had a right to kill any individual who opposed Anka or refused the assignment by Anka. For UN agents and uh, CIA agents as well as American agents Américain. Chief of uh, a unit had a right to Donc, kill them. Unité avait le droit de tuer ces personnes. And this Question. right was derived from a standing order Et c'était un ordre uh, Taval. Qu'avait donné Is that Taval. Et c'est exact. Bah. Answer yes, that is correct. C'est exact. And where did Question. Taval uh, get his order from? On which did he base himself um, to give you and your fellow unit chiefs this standing order? Answer. Regarding this point, I do not know. Oh, Je ne sais pas. where Taval uh, got or obtained uh, the order. In my capacity, I was the one who directly received an order from Taval. Moi, reçu un ordre directement de Taval. Now, let's, let us move now to the uh, execution of 11 or 12 or 10 people that you described yesterday. Um, Let's first um, start with exactly where this uh, alleged execution took place. You said bridge number one. Where is bridge number one um, compared to the dam site? Où se trouve le pont numéro un par rapport au barrage, au site du barrage? Answer. Uh, the work site at uh, the bridge one was close to each, uh, to uh, the the previous work site at that area the we had to uh, carry earth or uh, dirt in order to fill the, the area the and a bridge could be built construire le pont. and there was a test at that time, an ember uh, was uh, set uh, on fire to for the 12 people to walk on. And Pond uh, was uh, one among uh, those uh, group. Pond uh, stepped on the Pond ember, and the other 11 uh, avoided 
les onze autres ont évité the, les braises. Uh, Amber. And after uh, the eleven avoided uh, the Amber, they uh, were taken fois, away by the soldiers. Braises, ils ont été emmenés par les soldats. The day after, in the morning, le lendemain, matin, uh, certain people were assigned to carry dirt and cover the body. I was not among uh, the people who carried earth to cover the, the body, corps, but I was there to flatten uh, the place where the body was buried. Bur bur uh, do you know, do you know any of the names of these 11 or 12 workers? Question. Avez-vous les noms de ces personnes? But some answer. I do not know non. their names. Je ne connais pas leurs noms. However, I know that uh, they were people evacuated from Phnom Penh. Et je sais que c'était des gens qui avaient été évacués de Phnom Penh. And in which unit Question. were they working? Who was? À quelle unité étaient-ils rattachés? Um, their commanding officer, or who was leading the unit qui in which they were working. De leur unité. But, answer. Réponse. I am not quite sure which uh, unit uh, they were in. Je ne sais pas exactement dans quelle unité ils travaillaient. And, uh, People who were found uh, sleeping in uh, the long hall would be taken away. En train de I dans have no idea long what their unit chief, Mais je ne sais pas who qui était their leur unit chief chef were. I cannot tell you about that. Je ne peux rien vous dire à ce sujet. Um, but then, do you Question. know who gave the order for their execution? Qui a donné If I understand, understand correctly, you said. Um, si chiefs compris, had a dit, standing order. They could decide to execute. Um, de sur la base but who de was ordre it that permanent. ordered the execution? Qui a donné de cette execution? Someone. And witness, Réponse. it is a repeated question, uh, question and it puts to me once again and again. Tawa was the one who gave, gave the order. Beside him, no one uh, dares to issue such an order. But you just said that uh, all chiefs Mais vous venez tout juste had the right to kill because they were chiefs. Or, or am I mistaken? Oui, je mal compris. Answer. Réponse. It is true what you said. Non, c'est vrai ce que vous avez dit. Chiefs of unit had a right to execute. Le droit d'exécuter. Any individual, and the order came from uh, Taval. Et cet ordre, c'est Taval qui l'avait donné. Lonnol soldier, uh, KGB agent, les soldats de Lonnol, CIA les agents agent, du KGB, and les other agents, agents could be killed by chiefs of units. Et être tués par les chefs d'unité. Did you Question. hear with your ears um, Taval giving the Taval order donner cet ordre? to uh, whomever? to execute these people? Did you hear Taval give the order? Avez-vous entendu Taval donner l'ordre? Bon. Réponse. Answer. I did not hear the order personally. Je ne l'ai pas entendu. However, Taval. whenever Taval convened a Mais meeting, I was always there, as I mentioned earlier. J'y étais. Only chiefs of companies je dit and, plutôt, seul les and a battalion and upwards uh, had the right to attend the meeting convened by Taval. But, but do you know Question. who it was who actually told the, the persons who did the killing to kill these people? Who said to the people who did these executions that they could do it? Answer. Réponse. I do not know Je about that matter. Uh, who else above uh, Taval? I do not Je know about that. I only knew that uh, Taval gave uh, an order.
avait donné l'ordre. Do you know who did Question. the actual physical killing? Et savez-vous qui a tué? Answer. Réponse. I have no idea. Je I have never seen idée. them Je ne doing les ai the vus. actual physical killings. Je ne les ai jamais vus tuer euh, directement. How do you know that it was 11 Question. persons who were killed? Comment savez-vous que 11 personnes ont été tuées? Answer. 11 of them. I told already. 11 personnes, je vous l'ai déjà dit. And they were told to walk on amber. On leur a dit de and marcher sur they de did not uh, step on amber. Et One individual walked on the amber and uh, this individual was allowed to go back and sleep. The 11 individuals were taken away by the army or soldiers. I did not know where they were taken to. How the day after, in the morning, I uh, was on the crest of the dam to flatten uh, the, the uh, place where the bodies were La terre à but it, où les when été I uh, was doing my task, I noticed there were Et 11 bodies tâche, which uh, may have been killed uh, the day before. Qui avait été tué la which may have Question. been killed. Qui um, how did you know that the bodies that you were burying were the same people as the people who the day before mêmes personnes were involved in this testing uh, of the black, the night blasts. How do you know that they were the same people who told you this? Comment savez-vous que c'était les mêmes personnes? Qui vous l'a dit? Réponse. Answer. I was at the scene. J'étais là. The testing place was not quite away, it was not far away from where I was uh, standing or stationed. I was close by. I witnessed the incident. I witnessed the testing administered to uh, those 12. Pawn was in the, was in front of uh, the other 11. And as for uh, the killing or other uh, matters happened after contre, the test, I have no idea. Les executions ou toute autre chose qui s'est produite après le test, je n'en ai aucune idée. But when you were Question. involved in um, flattening the earth, Mais as you said it, uh, did you recognize any of the, the corpses sol, comme vous dit? as being one of the people that you saw the day before? And L'une des personnes de la veille parmi les corps. With this test. Bah. Réponse. Answer. I do not know the eleven people who died. Je ne connais pas I les do not know their mortes. names. Je ne connais pas leur nom. One, one last question, Mr. Witness. Okay. Can you try to explain to me how you concluded that the corpses that you, uh, over which you were flattening the earth, uh, were, the same, were the same um, people who were alive the day before and who were part of that test? Answer. Why I said that uh, they were the same people. Most of uh, the corpses uh, wore no shirts. Eh bien, 
and most of them had only the trousers. When I happened to see those corpses, they wore no shirts. I, uh, care, I, I was uh, covering uh, the some parts of uh, the body at the time because uh, uh, I uh, was doing the job that is a flattening uh, the place where the cop uh, were buried. Did you ever speak to Taval after this uh, incident or mass execution? Did you ever speak to Taval and ask him um, in a uh, verbally confronting way as you did sometimes why he did why he did that verbalement comme vous le faisiez parfois pourquoi il avait fait ça answer réponse i was close to taval however i was afraid of him de taval like a tiger. Mais peur de lui, comme tigre. When the wall was uh, walking from a uh, southward, I uh, would Taval, uh, walk northward. Even I uh, did not uh, feel to relieve myself, I would uh, run into the forest to uh, stay away from Taval. Je me enfui dans la forêt pour de Taval. Taval always. Uh, called me and assigned the work Taval for me to me do. Convoqué, me donner des tâches. And uh, I uh, would report uh, what I saw, for example, if I did not see anything vu, exemple, at the si place where he assigned me to go and observe, I would uh, report observer, the same thing. And I would do the task assigned by him. Je le travail me Have Question. you ever heard that his involvement in this execution of 11 people was a reason uh, for his arrest. Have you ever heard if his participation in the event that led to the execution of 11 people was a reason for his arrest? Regarding the arrest of Taral, I have no idea why he was arrested. Je ne sais pas pourquoi Taral a été what I knew is that after the arrival of a southwest zone a cadre, Taral Ce que disappeared. Je sais, à l'arrivée des cadres du sud-ouest, Taral Do you know of any similar Question. execution of workers -vous au courant um, after Taval de a disappeared? Après la disparition de Taval. At, at the Trapping Tma Dam worksite, I mean. But. Answer. Réponse. On this matter, I did not know and I did not do the job. After the killings sujet, of the 11 individuals, I was uh, relocated to work at uh, the cotton plantation at Kongwa. Kong um, I, th I think, Mr. Witness, you um, stated to DC Cam that um, after Taval's arrest, you stayed um, four to five months. Um, did you stay four to five months? At the Trapping Tma Dam worksite? Êtes-vous resté au chantier du barrage de Trapping Tma 4 ou 5 mois? But. Réponse. Answer Yes, that is true. C'est exact. After Taval had been arrested, I was there at the dam. J'étais au barrage. Working for 4 or 5 months. J'ai travaillé 4 ou 5 mois après l'arrestation de Taval. I was there constructing bridges. But since there were no cement material, such as uh, wires, bad wires, or iron bars, I was reassigned and worked at cotton plantation. But did you, in those four to five months that you kept working at the dam site after Taval's arrest, um, any similar? Mass executions, or was it the, o the one and only uh, execution that you've heard of? La seule execution dont vous avez entendu parler. 
Answer. Réponse. After Tawal had been arrested, Tanin and Tachin came to take control and replace Tawal. They were from the southwest zone. I have never seen the two individuals gave any order to kill someone, or they did not kill anyone from what I saw. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Um, I'm moving to a completely new subject now, Mr. President. Uh, I can start, but it's also almost four o'clock. It's been a long day. Um, up to you, of course. <coughs> President, President, thank you, Council. Merci, the hearing today comes to an end. The court is voilà now adjourned. And uh, we will resume tomorrow on 19 Votre August 2015 at 9 a.m. And tomorrow, the chamber will continue to hear witness Jung Singh, and oui, then oui, we will start to hear 2 TCW 908 is being formed and be here on time. Thank you, Mr. Jung Singh. The hearing of your testimony as a witness has not come to a conclusion yet. You are therefore invited to come here and testify once again tomorrow at 9 a.m. You may not be accused. Court officer with West Su unit, please. Send Mr. Mr. Jung Singh to the place where, is, where he is staying at, at the moment and please invite him back into the courtroom at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you as well, Mr. Deutsch Paris, the duty counsel. You are also invited to accompany Mr. Chum Singh tomorrow while uh, he is testifying before this chamber. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kiyosampon and Nunchia back into the detention facility of the ECCC and uh, please have them back uh, into the courtroom before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.